Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be quickly looking at how to access the Panopto website. So there are a few things that you will need. You will need the URL for the Panopto site that is specifically designed for USC. And you'll also need your eLearn login credentials. So you must have an active eLearn account to access Panopto. So the first thing you do is that you open your Google Chrome web browser and then you put in the Panopto URL that is specific to USC. So I'm going to put this in the video description as well, but it's, so you're going to, I'm going to just copy and paste it in my web browser. So it's uscaribbean.hosted.panopto.com. And once you paste the URL into your web browser, you click um, enter or return on your keyboard. And that is going to bring you to the USC Caribbean and the um, site that is asking to sign in to Panopto. So there is Panopto, but the thing is, is that you need um, to authenticate through Moodle. So you're going to click on the drop down arrow here and you're going to see the option of Moodle. So you're going to click on Moodle and then you're going to click sign in. Now, once you click on sign in, it's going to direct you to the eLearn logging site which is exactly what should be happening. So, so you want this to happen. Then you're going to click on the student teacher login button. And then you're going to enter your eLearn credentials. So whatever username and password that you use to get into eLearn, you're going to put that in there. So I'm going to put um, my username as, and then I'm going to put in my password. And then I'm going to click log in. And as you can see, it logs me into Panopto. So on the left here, there'll be um, some options. And as you create videos and so on, you're going to get more options on this side. Now there are some videos here that are very useful for you to use to getting used to, to Panopto. So there are some instructional guides here about how to edit a video, record a video, view a video and so on. Um, you could also go to the everything folder so that shows you even more videos on how to do things in Panopto. And if there is something that you want to specifically search for, then you can search for it here. So like for instance, if you want to search for how to do captions and you type in captions there, it's going to bring up all the videos that um, have the word captions in it. So you can see the different videos on what you might need to use. Now, if you don't see um, the video here that can help you. There are some other videos. If you go up to this section here where it says powered by Panopto and let's right click on it and you click open link in new tab. You click that. Then you go to that tab. So you click on the tab. There you go to the Panopto site. Now you might see the options in the top here if your window is large enough, but if your window is not large enough, you can also click the menu here to get the resources. All right, so you're looking for support. So let me enlarge this a little bit more. So you might be seeing the page like this instead. All right, and you're going to go to support. You're gonna click on support, and that's their support page is going to open up. And you see where they say search documentation, you could put in um, some keywords there to find um, documentation that will help you do something in Panopto. So for instance, if you type in Moodle, you will see that you have a few options here on what you can use Panopto and Moodle to do. So like for instance, if you want to embed videos in one of your Moodle course, you could click on that, click on that link, and it will show you the instructions on how to embed videos in your Moodle course. So you could um, look at it here and get some other um, resources as well. Now let me go back to the Panopto account here. Now once you signed in, so if you look in the top right corner, right now that's my ID number, but it will have whatever your username that you use to get in into um, eLearn. Now I can close this now. So if I close this, it's going to remember your login. So if I close this window and I'm going to open my Google Chrome again, and I'm going to go to this URL. It, rem it remembers my login information. So in other words, 
once you you go through the process and you log in once it's going to remember your username and password so the next time you come back in it's going to automatically go into to that panopto page so hope this helps um if you have any questions you can always email us email us at elearninghelp101 at gmail.com for support okay guys take care bye bye